just one more hour until I'm in Geneva. Geneva International Motor Show 2024. F1 GTR long tail. Why is it called long tail? <laughs> Weil das Ding einen sehr langen Schwanz hat. Der langen Schwanz quasi. F1 GTR Langschwanz. I guess I will speak some German for my friends and German followers and some English. But I guess just showing you guys cars is a very international language. As I am already a little bit disappointed because this we are upstairs now and over there you can go down but you see the wall over there yep that's it that's everything that's it it was the most important car show in the whole world one of the most important car shows in the whole world definitely we had world premieres here from from everybody Königsegg, bugatti pagani and now we have Dacia and Renault printed in large letters on the <laughs> exhibition list. We don't even have Mercedes-Benz here. We don't have BMW, Audi, nothing. But I'll show you everything, the whole show. Um, let's see if it really is a disappointment. I heard many people that just said we are not coming here. And I gave it a try. I drove six hours and I have to drive six hours back. I'm driving a very big car with a big engine. <laughs> so it costs like 300 bucks in fuel just to come here. But uh, yeah, I think I might, I might also do a video about all car dealerships around here. This car is already from Klausen.com, which is a big dealership I wanted to visit here in Geneva. I've been at the last real Geneva which was 2019, I think. P1 GTR, P1 not GTR, <laughs> Zena GTR. This is a speed tail, I didn't even say it. I skipped this one because I don't like it. It's a V6 Ferrari, so it doesn't count for me. Valkyrie, I'm walking very slowly, showing you all the cars in detail because there is not much to record. <laughs> You'll see when I'm over there. They call this the adrenaline zone. So much adrenaline going on. Pagani Huayra is always nice to look at. My adrenaline is already rushing. Ah, oh, this is also from Klausen. I think when I go, oh, the Valkyrie also. <laughs> Maybe all cars. Oh yeah, every car has the, except the 959 over there, doesn't have the Clausen.com license plate. But uh, when I go there, <laughs> it might be empty because all the cars are here. So this is, seems like they're all from one dealership, a very large known dealership here in Switzerland. So this one is fully exposed, carbon fiber and blue. Okay, this one is from a different dealership, but all of those over there are from Klausen. La Ferrari F40, very unique in red and black rims. <laughs> I'm kidding you guys. <laughs> if, it, if it would have a special color. It's it's one of those darker Rosso colors, but um, yeah, still it's a red Ferrari, even if it's a La Ferrari. If you've seen like I don't know, 100 of those, it only gets special when it's tailor-made. Even the seats are not very special; they are just red. I might spec it the same way if I bought one. I oh, know, I love tailor-made. I love unique cars. Even every single car I owned was unique and I made it very special. 
in a good way. Of course, some people say, yeah, I have a special car. They lower it with uh, boring springs and it looks like all other tuners in the world, but no. This looks kind of cool. Miura over there. I don't know what this is. As you can see, it's super crazy crowded. People everywhere, everybody wants to be here. It's funny that they even close this area off. I can understand because it's a dealership and maybe they just said, yeah, fence it in. Even for the press, today's media day, first day. Nine five nine, and they say it's a supercar on here, but the F forty is no supercar. Where does it have to? <laughs> Veron, full exposed carbon fiber and blue, also blue rims. I walk over there and show it to you. Maybe there is another hall, but I don't think so because when I got the press information, I already saw like it's only hall number four. Also from Clausen. I think there will be no car left when I go to Clausen. Beautiful, much more interesting than all Chirons because the Chiron is like a golf GDE in Germany. And the very raw just got super rare and super interesting when when there are like 20 Chirons when you go to F1 in Monaco, but only like two Veros maybe or maybe just one. As you can see, it has the let's call it facelift with the bigger BC front lip. I, I think it's from the BC. All the Paganis can be customized and you can buy a facelift for them and this is already the facelift with the lip when I was in Paris in January like a month ago it was super crowded and I was so happy to see that it's still a real car show like it's supposed to be but I also was at the IAA Mobility, they even changed the name, IAA Mobility, which is now like 200 bucks entrance and only for like, um, what is it called in English, for specific people, not, not like tourists or something and yeah, it was also only for e-mobility, they didn't have any supercar or whatever and here they installed the Adrenaline Zone, where it looks like Two car dealers had the chance to show off their cars to maybe find a buyer. But yeah, the rest of the hall, I'll show it to you. It has no cars, cars. When I say cars, cars, cars with an engine, <laughs> with a re real engine and sound and speed and fun and race cars, interesting cars. I think I have a spy on my on my booty because there is a guy that looks kind of sexy. Look at the steering wheel. Because it was like standing backwards to me. Everything here is empty, right? And there was a guy like 30 centimeters next to me. Maybe it's a spy and they see wh wh whom of those breast guys is saying that the car show is a disappointment. And they throw me off. Looks very wild. That's the guy over there. Who are you? Why did you just stand behind me 30 minutes, 30 centimeters away from me? Let me go this way. And said nothing. It, it, it had no reason. He wasn't looking at anything. <laughs> my, my own secret spy.
I wonder if it can hover already. It looks it looks like it can fly. <laughs> Big motorcycle drone. This looks funny. It looks like a Transformers or something. So the brand is Lazaret. It has a V8 4.3 liter Ferrari F430 challenge engine. That's pretty badass, okay. Okay, and it has Maserati rims. So it has car tires and rims from Maserati, carbon fiber, and then the F430 engine. It must sound pretty insane. Perfect for, for some rounds in Monte Carlo. I want to hear that. So let me check again what this car has. A Jaguar 12 cylinder 5.3 liter engine. All right. Looks like a hot rod. So let's check the specs on this one. Someone was reading it, that was why I skipped it. Four turbines. Oh, there is in English. What is it? Bro jet engine. 1280 horsepower. Okay. 96,000 RPM. All right. Yeah, it needs to fly, so. Hmm. The future. So here we have the car of the year. Ah, yeah, what I wanted to say in uh, Paris, it was crowded. Everybody wanted to go there. It was still a very nice car show, like it used to be with real cars. And nothing was fenced in and it was crowded. If you watch my video, Retromobile Paris in 2024, then you'll see it. And here, nobody, nobody's here and everything is fenced in. Which is weird because today is media day. So the crowd is a little different to the normal tourists who would scratch a car or whatever. But yeah, that's how it is. So the car of the year. This morning, they, I don't know which one, yeah, I guess this one is the car of the year. So um, yeah, huge disappointment, a Renault something, Xenic E-Tech, very money driven. I'm sorry guys, but this is the car of the year, not a Rolls Royce, Ferrari, Lamborghini, now it's... Then just send me a WhatsApp. This was a very famous person, but I don't remember who this was. The guy who just passed me? Who was it? I know his face. Was it Mr. Roof? In the, it's a very important person in the car world, but I don't remember who. Did you see him in the camera? Who is that guy? I know him. But I just don't remember who it was. Maybe you guys know him if you saw... Who is that guy? I'm really not sure. But I 100% know him and know that he's a famous person in the car world. Another car of the year. Jesus. So Geneva is super close to the border of France, like eight minutes with the car and I'm in France. That's why they speak French here. Like one hour ago, when I drove here, everything was in German or Swiss German, but it's, uh, it's German. When it's written, you cannot see if it's Swiss. And um, then suddenly all the signs and the villages had French names, which is funny because where is the border? There was no mountain or something. It was just some tunnels and suddenly it was France and French, everything. A space F1. Has its own stand here. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to come close to it. Oh, 
old Maserati. Ons, one of the best car shows in the whole world. This is very sad to see, honestly. It's not just <laughs> not sad to see those cars, but yeah. If you are from here or live close to it, then I don't mind. It's beautiful, nice little tiny show. But if you have to travel a lot to get here, and Geneva is one of the most ugliest, grayest, it's super duper grayest city I've ever seen. I've been in Geneva before, not only for the car show, also for business, and Geneva is not a real tourist spot. It's <laughs> it's not very nice if you go to the Mont Blanc which is not far away it's like a little more than an hour drive which I might do today because I want to see something I drove here so far I think I might just might drive up the Mont Blanc and test my off-road car that I brought with me and my new tires I have brand new off-road tires which are pretty badass and I want to test them in the snow so if that's really it and I think you can see over there the wall this is the end I think we are coming close to it. I show you the rest of the show from above. Be, be prepared. Be nervous already because Dacia, Dacia is coming. Let's walk over the red carpet. I hope the music over there won't be a problem. If so, you won't hear me. <laughs> Maybe that's good for you guys. So that's the whole car show. BYD over there. I saw them and test drove them and made videos about test driving all of their vehicles at IAA Mobility already. You can see that on my channel. Just put in Utixo, IAA, BYD, test drive and then you'll see it. Then Renault over there. The funny thing is, when I was here, they had Koenigsegg, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, um, Bugatti, yeah, everything, Rolls-Royce, um, Bentley, and they had huge stands, huge Bentley stand where you could eat and drink, and um, it was crowded, and yeah, <laughs> and now we have Dacia here, it was in big letters, as I mentioned, because it's also one of the biggest stands, if not the biggest, then of course Renault, which also has a stand just like um, Bentley had. <laughs> and then we have those weird names nobody knows, those weird companies. BYD, TCS, Chimera, okay, yeah, Chimera, is, I've seen them in uh, Paris. Over there, Chimera, I'll show you everything. It's not a lot, so we have just 90 minutes, usually I'm not very close to the end after 90 minutes recording a world car show, but that's how it is here. Mobility lab, silence motor. Oh yeah, this is the silence uh, 04, I think. I have a test drive tomorrow with the silence 04, which is this tiny little car over there. Electro car something it was the only thing you could do here. Test drive it. And oh, they have a Gran Turismo challenge somewhere. 
I don't know where it is. Yeah, let's go down, I think. I'm thinking about um, changing to the other mic because the, there's music in the background. Let me change it uh, to the mic so the music doesn't interfere with my voice and I get copyright infringement. So the mic is installed. Dilara, they are selling them very close to me in Germany. That's why I've seen lots of them. Kara, Karugati, there's also a big dealership here, which I will, which I am going to visit. Let me look if, <laughs> around if I'm missing a hole, but yeah, this should be it. The Dacia Sand Rider, all right. Renault, Lucid over there. I also drove the Lucid Air with like, what was it, 1,200 horsepower or something at the IAA test drove it. You can have a look at it on my channel. Just put in Lucid Air test drive. So Dacia. Sand Rider. Usually I would skip Dacia and walk in big circles around it. <laughs> in German we say in a großen Kreis drumherum, in a big circle uh, around it. I think it's not the perfect translation, but um, I think you know what I mean. This is what I came for. Always wanted to see the brand new Duster. Wow, world premiere, very stunning. It's funny when people sit in it. So this car I'm going to drive tomorrow. Maybe I'll skip that and go to Mont Blanc or today, I see. But I booked a test drive with this one. You could also test drive the scooter, but it's raining. So I thought maybe the tiny car is better. If the duster isn't worse enough for you, then you can buy the spring, which is even more tinier than the Sandero. Also a very big disappointment. But the spring is pretty amazing. It reminds me of those Russian Tata or whatever. No, Tata is Indian. Those, those what Lada, the old Russian Ladas, the tiny cars. Huge, white, masculine looking tires. I would forbid anyone in my family to drive this car. The Duster, okay, yeah, it's fine. But the spring looks like uh, Isetta, but a modern. Also a very good sign if you cannot close the door. <laughs> Might be broken already. Also very masculine, it's funny how a world changes. Once cars had to be masculine, even women love masculine cars. And now all the cars look uh, like from a freaky, freaking comic or something. But I think this is fine for electric cars, this size, if it's a tiny little car, which makes sense. But for big cars, that makes sense. Hybrid kind of makes sense. There are some people that say hybrids also are not the future, some say Wasserstoff might be the future, we'll see. I guess those are electric bikes, Motos are Koche, Motos are Koche, keine Ahnung. I don't know how to say it. They look cool. On a bicycle, it's fine as well. I have an electric bike. It's pretty cool. So 
So here's something interesting. Alfa Romeo. Erere. Erere. Fuyori Seri. Irgendwas. Alright. The first interesting thing down here. Those rims are very sexy. It's saying test car. Maybe an attempt to be like Zagato. Why not? Zagato and Pinin Farina also designed Alfa Romeos. Or did Zagato design? No, I don't, I'm not sure if Zagato made Alfa Romeos. Oh, I think, yes. If not, you can tell me in the comments. Looks pretty cool. Has a pretty funny face. If you imagine this as a human face, it would be a funny one. This is really just this hall and the, yeah, it's, it's one big hall. It has an upstairs and a downstairs. So Isuzu, I don't know if you want to see Isuzu. Very stunning. They are like uh, the yeah, cheapest pickups you can buy, which is also good for, for working. So MG. Many people here. Hmm. MG7. If the car is not so good, you have to make doors that open like like a scissor door just like a lambo funny thing is not all lambos have this door <laughs> all the poor car guys that are here to document all the cars Just wanted to say all the poor car guys that are here and paid and they have to say oh that's a good car oh that looks good oh this is good oh yeah very masculine cool looking car if you walk drive around in monaco <laughs> with that everybody will love you but as i am free he, he cannot stop touching it as i'm free i can say whatever i want for example we caught this guy touching the car non-stop and uh, climpering on it like tuk, 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 tuk with his nails the whole time. I don't know why he did this. Also very funny when guys just go in front of me. Everybody wants to take a picture of this car because it looks a little bit more interesting than the other cars. I have to admit the inside looks very fancy. The door of course looks fancy. So if I would work for a big company and wouldn't be on my own, I would be like, oh my God, yeah, this is stunning. This is a world premiere. Look at it. Tiny little car. If you hate your small little sister, you can buy it for her when she is 18. 
Now she's like, oh, look at the front. It looks very cool and interesting. No, it doesn't look interesting. It looks super boring. It's a disappointment for human beings to build cars like this. Amazing hybrid. Look how stunning it looks. This rear is cool, I have to admit it. It looks very nice. The funny thing is all those electric companies, they can just put a big battery in and then put whatever design around it. So it's not very difficult to do. That's why there are so many electric companies coming out of nowhere. with very cool designs. I have to admit, they, they look cool sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time they don't look cool. I've been in the States since I was a small child and I'm used to huge V8s, huge masculine looking, nice, cool cars. And in the States they usually don't buy and don't build small, tiny cars. Rarely. Now it's sadly it's coming, but um, I just spotted a hypercar over there. Um, yeah, they laugh about us when we drive a smart car or something. And here we try to celebrate it and act like it's cool to drive tiny little cars. Of course they have more space to drive, but yeah, first hypercar. I think uh, SP3 Daytona, yeah, SP3 Daytona. I recorded one on the street, a private one in Munich. If you look it up on my channel Utixo and then Schaltkulisse, it was a car meet. And I think the, the car, car meet exceeded this complete car show. It has blue interior, blue seats, Alcantara seats. But uh, no, this is boring. I want to talk about the IML7. Yes, this is a nice car. Imagine how it sounds like an UFO. it's parked here like that with those plastic looking details it might be metal but it looks like plastic it looks like a concept car not even real it should have a different color and different rims I don't like the rims they couldn't be more boring so animations in front of the car this was just yeah now it's moving again the worse the car, the more animations and things you have to put on to make it interesting. I wouldn't even walk here, but there's nothing left. I need to record this. <laughs> I think I'm the only guy here who's really saying the truth. Everybody else will be like, oh yeah, this is stunning, this is stunning. It has an animation in the front. Wow. Interesting. Lucid, as I mentioned, I drove. Yeah, I think this one, yeah, this is the Lucid Air. I drove this one with the 1,200 horsepower. Oh no, I think it was even 1,500. It was the biggest edition. They have, I think, yeah, 800, 1,000 or something, 1,200, 1,500, I don't know, or 600, I don't know. It was insane. But when I drove it, they didn't unleash the full power, as you can see in my video. And they said, yeah, yeah it's uh, for safety reasons or whatever. And people just say it's a fucking scam. <laughs> I can't say that word on YouTube, I'm sorry. But yeah, they say it's just a scam. Because yeah, they say, yeah, yeah, we make 2000 horsepower, but they don't really do it. 
for example, Königsegg is uh, delivering there, really having the power and showing it off and having proof of it and videos that prove it and show it. This looks interesting. Gravity might be uh, also world premiere or, yeah, I think it is. Otherwise, I should have seen it in, on the IAA. A huge, extremely long car. It is designed in California. It has many quality flaws inside and Lucid um, didn't allow, just maybe like now, didn't allow to show the interior. I wasn't allowed to record the bad quality of the car. I was talking with the guy who was working there at IAA with Lucid, but they said I'm not allowed to post it and wanted to see the video first before I publish it. And it was very weird. But uh, that's just how loose it is. They don't want people like me that tell the truth and show people, hey, so many flaws and the car was like 180,000 euros or something. Oh no. He wanted to open the car and they're like, no, no, you're not allowed to look inside. The quality is very bad. The car costs $200,000. Please don't touch it. Otherwise it will fall apart. I'm very sorry to say that, but that's how it was. Also Lucid Air, this is the Pure. I don't know which one. Yeah, those are the editions Pure. I was in the fastest one. For people who are skipping parts, I'm showing you everything and as I'm just walking and not even skipping the walking, you are able to skip wherever you want to go. You see the direction I'm going. Also here, amazing. Wow, another electric car that looks futuristic like everyone else. I can see the, the faces of the guys working there, and maybe even the guys who built the cars because they see that I'm saying bad, bad things about the cars. I can see it in their faces. <laughs> they know exactly what I'm saying just by my face. So Chimera, I've seen this in uh, France and in Paris and also I think somewhere else, but I'm not sure where I've seen those, but I've seen the Chimera now twice, I think already. This is uh, supposed to be like the Delta Stradale, but like, yeah, it, it has a resto mod, resto mod look to it, so like a modern version of it. Looks pretty dope. Would be cool if everyone here had cool cars like this, but sadly, it's very rare here. <laughs> so BYD, want to see everything? Okay, let me show you BYD and then go over there. The BYD was pretty cool. I drove them. Drives like a Tesla. I was driving the Seal, which is like a Model 3. The quality also was very good. It looked very stylish in the interior. But when I, uh, I was driving it to the limit and trying to drift and stuff, and then you could see it's just very unsafe or unsafer than normal cars. But as they are copying everything, <laughs> they might be able to copy the safety from European standards as well at some point. But this was funny, yeah, I was braking and the, it was nearly like the car didn't have an ESP. And then it showed why they are cheap, but it's a very stylish looking car and I think they have a bright future. Very cool company, I have to admit. So over here we have the Range Rover Defender from BYD. As you can see, one of one copy replica. I guess they don't allow me to say that. I have to be careful. Yeah, it's much bigger than the Defender. U8.
very interesting. They went crazy here. Looks pretty cool. Even the mirrors, they copied and put some lines on. Also here, they put some lines on to make it a, <laughs> appear a little bit different than the Defender. Like a very pimped out Defender. But that's just how it is. It's always been like this. This looks funny. You see there was a light in here this just was yeah now it's glowing interesting people love to cuddle the cars here today so over there's the seal this one i drove i think it looks very cool it looks more stylish than the tesla model 3 it's cheaper it's not that safe, <laughs> but it's pretty dope. I like it. It looks very attractive. So it has two real lights, see? One over there, one over there. Hmm. On the fenders for the US market, because it's so long. But it doesn't really look so long. Guys, touching again. Third time touching it. I guess the car can also make interesting animations. All the sensors and radars over there. Here they have the Lamborghini, uh, what is it, Essenza Gran Turismo or something, concept car. You can drive and also can win things if you have the best time. Centro, Centro Stil, okay, six exhaust pipes. Sadly, it's just a concept. This is funny, the, the spoiler goes into the tire. How can he drive? <laughs> we even have tiny animations over there. Lamborghini Lambo V12 Vision Gran Turismo. Okay, so the Essenza are the real race cars. Have a look at those. The most interesting exhibitioner over here, I guess. Professional with the tiny GoPro. Replica Maybach grill from AliExpress. No, I guess they made it, <laughs> made it themselves. This would be ridiculous if they really bought it from Oh no, it's a, an Asian firm, so maybe they're really from AliExpress, but maybe a little bit improved. In Germany, we have many V-classes from Mercedes driving around with those AliExpress Maybach custom builds. And they just made it a little bit more professional, but it looks sick. It has a big bumper here, like a Mercedes-Benz GLE or GLS. 
We'll have a look at them, but first I'll show you those. Modern. And over there. Not modern, classic. Everything carbon fiber. Well, they even have lint here. They mean business. So there's a woman sitting and the old guy next to me just recorded her secretly. This guy in the leather jacket, yeah, little pervert. He was like over his shoulder, zooming in, but <laughs> I was standing next to him, <laughs> zooming on the woman and making pictures of her. Or well, maybe he just likes her. Some Alibaba Chrome. There's a crown, then those AliExpress vents. Very, very cool. I like it. I really like it. Even if it's like AliExpress and cheap stuff, but I like it. They even copied the Mercedes-Benz design here for their own tablet and entertainment system. I like it. But of course, there are many companies that are doing this. Oh, this has a little curved screen on top. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dope. I really like those and I can see myself buying one of those custom-built V-classes at one point in my life. It's a six-seater, which makes it pretty cool, because they can, yeah, they, everybody can sit very comfortably. I'm not sure about the quality. If you look closer here, this is not straight, and the person who's sitting here will look at it the whole time, but that's just how those companies are. They are not made for quality. Yeah, sorry that I recorded this, but I saw many flaws and this was the only one I showed you guys. The horrible leather. So what else is here? Renault and then we have everything. But they appear pretty cool from the outside. I really like the off-road style chrome bumper down there. Oh. What happened to quality? Everything in the whole world is more expensive and has less quality, sadly. That's currently the trend. I hope it's going in the other direction at some point. This looks very fancy and it looks like a very old Clio. R5. In funky colors, why not? Also tiny car, but very good looking car. And as I mentioned, small tiny cars for the city and electric, why not? Can be much more fun than a big car. 
Yeah, it kind of looks, it looks wide and low. It has a stylish look on it. Uh -huh. It's funny when they take pictures of wipers or something, usually it's the Asian people making pictures of the inside of the exhaust system, for example, at IAA there was a guy going into every single vent of the AMG one, taking pictures of the inside of the exhaust of every single vent. He, he put his phone in, he nearly lost it in the vent. <laughs> but of course, yeah, they want to copy it, so that's how to do it. Funny thing is, in Asia, it's not um, evil to copy. It's the, the highest form of honor if you want to copy someone. If someone is copying you, it's an honor. So. Here it looks even when they make an electric Defender and it looks even more stylish than the regular Defender but it's not meant evil or bad or something. It's an honor. It's like we like your design, we copy you because your design is nice, we like your technology so they copy it. Some more of those R5s inside of here. Yeah, it looks like the same thing that was outside. Also some music. Looks like the sport version or something. It looks cool. It's not as cool as the Rolls Royce, for example, but... Uh, Oh yeah, those taillights, look at them, amazing, very stunning, wow, it has a light, LED technology from the future, yes, look, another light, so I think uh, this might be the end, I think I've seen enough, I record some dealerships in Geneva and do, do one of my car spotter guides showing people from abroad what to see in the city. So that was the whole show, everything the show has to offer. offer. If there's anything more, I will let you know and record it, put it to this, but I guess this was everything, 12 hours of driving. In Switzerland, it's horrible. It's not very nice to drive because you cannot drive fast. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my commentary if not you can also al al always mute the video and you don't have to listen to me and you'll see everything also you can play some music your own music in the background in the past usually people like it my commentary because it's interesting it's not uh, not just plain recording like everyone else and i'm not skipping anything i'm showing everything and walking with you guys for everybody who's not here for whatever reason there is but sometimes there is someone who's like oh, i don't like uh, what you are saying uh, mute is better yeah so mute it and listen to your own music and enjoy why not um thank you very much bye bye watch all my other videos visiting shows all over the world one thing one thing was missing this totem like yeah, resto mods or I don't know if it's built completely from scratch off but this is the only thing I didn't record let me wait Very cool and hidden here between those stairs. Sadly, the good ones are hidden. Very good looking. This is carbon fiber here. Carbon fiber, Carrera, track.